was attacked today while walking her dog in Boston's Mattapan neighborhood. The attacker, a Boston police dog. And he's here, Greg Whalen joins us now live from Mattapan with more on the story. Greg? Leslie, still a few unanswered questions here, including the identities of everybody involved. And also, we uh, don't know at this point uh, much about uh, conditions, but we do know that the dog in question came from that home right there, which is the home of a Boston police canine officer. It happened on Sturbridge Street, a short, quiet street near Mattapan Square. Police say a woman was walking her small dog past the home of the Boston police canine officer who keeps his dog in a backyard kennel. For whatever reason, and we're investigating that, uh, one of our canine dogs uh, was loose on Sturbridge Street where the officer lives. The woman, seeing that that dog was out and approaching her dog, grabbed her dog and try to protect the dog the best she could. Unfortunately, our police dog went for the dog, not the female victim, and in the process of going for that dog, uh, unfortunately, the woman sustained three wounds from, from our dog. The 60-year-old woman sustained bites to her cheek, lip, and stomach areas, requiring stitches to her lip. She was being treated at Boston Medical Center. Police Commissioner Ed Davis uh, came right down to the hospital expressed his sorrow for what happened, apologized on behalf of the city as well as the police department, and assured her that a full, full investigation will be conducted. Police believe the canine dog was a German shepherd with no record of previous problems. It was being quarantined, and there was no indication when or if it would be put back into service. Well, that's something we're going to have to reevaluate. Obviously, uh, you know, we're concerned about the dog. Um, the good thing is, obviously, I don't think he was being aggressive to humans. I don't know what set him off to go after this little dog, but, yeah, you know, that's something we'll have to evaluate uh, based on um, probably what the vets say and what the officer said. The real question will be how the dog got loose. Police were uncertain about the breed or the condition of the smaller dog, but it's safe to say, based on what we've heard here, that most of the injuries were sustained by the dog's uh, walker, by the woman who was walking the dog, by the dog's owner. Everybody was pretty well uh, shaken up by this here on this street, including police say the canine officer and his wife. They required medical treatment as well. So, Leslie, every dog walker's greatest fear that while they're out, they'll encounter another dog on the loose, a big dog. Yeah, and Greg, do you know how this attack was stopped? We don't know that. No one has told us how the attack or who stopped the attack. It is a safe bet that when this dog got loose, it quickly came to the attention of the canine officer, who is its owner. And we suspect he may have participated uh, and may have, may in fact have been the one who stopped the attack. All right, Greg Whalen in Boston tonight. Thank you.